All right, people, welcome back to another video. All right, guys, so today I just got a video to show you guys about how to fine tune the ultimate fine tune for your Asus Rogue Ally, right? So, this is gonna help you to clean up your Ally, make sure it's running as smooth as possible, give you a boost in performance, and clean up all your bloat work. Make sure, like, when you start up your system, start up as fast as possible, you don't got anything running in the background and stuff like that, if you get what I'm saying. Right. So there's a lot of apps out there that could help you out, but these are two of the main ones that I think that could mainly help you out right now, right? So the first one is, it's already open, but let me go to the screen. So the first one is Bloody Nosy, if I'm pronouncing it right. It's this app right here. So you just gotta open it. All right, so this is it right here, right? So everything that's selected, it's what it's gonna fix. So make sure you get, if you understand what I'm saying. So everything that's in blue right now, that's what this, the, the app is gonna try to fix once you hit that fix button, that's right here. All right, so you got the browser, explorer, desktop, everything. So this right here, the bottom one, it's saying bloatware from Microsoft, Asus, and all that stuff right here. You need to have that unselected. So now open it. You gotta make sure this is unselected. You want unselected because you need that. That's where all your armor crate and all your stuff from Asus that you need for it, for your system to run as smooth as possible for your games and stuff like that. So you need to have that unselected. Then you want to go through each one of these individually and make sure anything that you need you want unselected. So it's up to you guys. Make sure you just go through and see what you actually need. If you go to game. If you use game DVR right there, you want to unselect that because it will disable that. Go to system, see what's going on in systems. If you use OneDrive, you want to make sure you unselect that as well. So yes, yeah, so let's go to them one by one and see if there's anything that you're using, you want to make sure it's unselected because when you hit once you hit fix, it's gonna disable it. So that's basically it. So that's um bloody nosy for you, and this helps you to fine tune your system, get rid of some bloatware, make sure your system is, is running as smooth as possible. So the next one I want to talk about is uh, Gloria Utility Tool. Yes, open it. So this right here is like this this cleaner back in the days. This way you clean up your like your trash and all your unwanted. Um, stuff that you left behind when you install stuff or when you un uninstall stuff like sometimes you left some files that you're not using on your system this is what this is for so off rip once I turn it on it's saying Windows boost boost Windows boot time is one minute slower than average person it's 28 percent users are slower so that it's saying that I'm my system boot up 28 percent slower than a regular person so if I hit startup manager it's gonna show me all the stuff that's on here that I could disable to make my system boot up faster, right? So you got EA, I mean you need that for your games. So you got delete cache standalone binary stuff like that. All those regular stuff you could disable. Then you have uh, Microsoft OneDrive again if you're not using it. You could just disable that. Teams, I'm using team, disable. OneDrive startups, so all these stuff. It's on startup here. If you're not using it, guys, you could just disable it. And yeah, you got Microsoft. That's already disabled already. And how, how did that got disabled? Spotify got disabled. Yeah, Cortona. I don't use Cortona, so I could disable that. So if you get what I'm saying, so this right here helps your system to start up faster and clean up your background. So you want to go back again. All right, so then you just want to click, uh, click one for maintenance or one click for maintenance and this is everything right here does it does right you can register cleaner shortcut fixer dix repair tracks eraser temporary file cleaner and startup manager right so this is where you you, you fine tune your system like do a clean a well cleaning yeah like let's say you wake up Sunday morning and you're trying to clean this is what you're trying to do so you wake up early in the morning and trying to clean your house this is exactly what this app is doing for you. So, uh, if you want to get in, go to options and you can see all the stuff that you can do, like to uncheck and check that like, like you don't want to clean and stuff like that. So, if you go to temporary files right here, these are all the stuff, temporary files that you have in here, and it's going to clean it. 
you want to make sure that's checked. And you say okay. If you go back in there, there's other stuff you could you could go inside of it and see what's going on, and then you could try and change the settings to your liking, right? So when you're done, you just hit scan, scan for issues, and it'll scan it, and then you can just clean it, right? So now it's analyzing. So he has to close edge because it's cleaning up everything, guys. All temporary files. Then, so I hit repair, it's gonna fix and delete everything. All them unwanted files, like when you install stuff and you leave. Because whenever you install stuff and you and they uninstall it, it's gonna leave like a temporary file in your system and takes a space. Not a lot, but. Everything adds up, you know what I'm saying? So if you keep installing stuff, keep uninstalling stuff, eventually it's gonna be a lot of unwanted files in your system. So yeah, so that's basically it. So now your system should be running perfectly better than how it was before. So now if you go down here, you got a lot more options down here. If you go to this right here, recycle bin, click it. You could do, you could do a batch uninstall. So with this, when you click it, when you go in, when you click that thing down there, like, like a recycle bin, you go to batch, uninstall, you're going to see everything that's in your system. If you want to uninstall like a couple of stuff, like maybe more than one app at the same time, this is where you go. And this is why this app is so amazing, because it helps you to clean, clean up your system and you can do a batch uninstall. So you can click more than, select more than one stuff at the same time and you just hit uninstall. So yeah, that's basically it. Let's go through it, see what's going on, what you don't need, what you're not using, and that's basically it. So there's a lot more stuff this to do. Let's make sure you check it out, go through it, and go through all the options, and then you can fine tune the system to your liking, guys. And hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I got more awesome video coming out, guys. And thanks for tuning in, guys. Remember what I always say, guys. Health is wealth. Peace and love, I'm out.